All right. So D web, you know, decentralized web. I think Steve Mackey is where I first heard about it in a clubhouse call, which had been really cool. Clubhouse, that whole boom in clubhouse, I think helped handshake and decentralized web spread much more the last few months. And, you know, it's a pretty cool idea to D web is another way of saying web three, but web three has kind of been taken over, like Steve says, by the Ethereum crew um, with their smart contracts and, you know, and Ethereum blockchain. So, this has kind of become the wider scope, or at least maybe the non, not only Ethereum scope of the new internet. And there's so many funny people in this community. Uh, I'm in a bunch of Telegram groups. I'm trying to be active. Some people are like, oh, you're a YouTube guy when they're seeing me in chat there. Um, and it was a funny one. Somebody, uh, DWeb ASAP, made that uh, shared in just groups with their account as DWeb ASAP. And uh, it was a good one. And like, uh, others in the community like Dees and Jonathan and others were like, this is good content, but uh, the mechanical voice, you can let me just play it real fast. Um, and the... Okay, so let's talk about the D web. All right. So, so let's, uh, let's maybe, I'm going to try. There is some parts in there that I might not include because uh, the reason people hide their voices, I think, is they're afraid, you know, that... It'll be connected to them, of course, but some of this stuff is kind of disruptive to large companies and large organizations and, and, and governments. So it is, a, I think that's the reason why we start to see more and more of these people with like anonymous names, you know, ha handles and telegram, um, you know, voice covered machine stuff. So uh, I did talk to this person, uh, you know, I talk, I connect with the Shake Decks, you know, I think they're making amazing things. I think this person made amazing stuff. So I'm going to try to go through some of the slides, but I'm not going to go through all of them um, in my own voice. And I hope I don't get somebody coming at my door. door. Uh, it's uh, sad that we have some people have that fear. Okay, so let's go through the first slide that this this uh, this in this YouTube video uh, and the slides I got from them is um, the history of the web. You know, Web 1 in the 90s, I mean, even earlier, really, right? But the Web 1 was, you know, HTML websites, you know, kind of like ugly stuff. There was AOL. The AOL's not in here, but AOL, I remember AOL. <laughs> and and uh, I remember I had to click in AOL to go to the WWW. It's like, danger, do you really want to leave our safe walled garden of AOL? This isn't mentioned in this. But that was there, right? Remember AOL? I mean, they're still around, I think. Some of my friends still use AOL.com email addresses. I don't know. But um, they were also kind of like trying to be what this Web 2 is. They were trying to be a walled garden. And they they had, I believe, lost. Um, but there was email that came out and HTML websites. And that's Web 1 plus AOL, I'd say, <laughs> which didn't make it. And then Web 2. Web 2 is, uh, you know, of course, you know, YouTube, where this video is being posted. Hopefully it's not getting deleted or, you know, demonetized, it'll just etc you know twitter which we know is like ban donald trump and um others and instagram etc etc facebook of course this is web 2 it's information centric uh it's interactive it's informative you know it does give power to the people because a lot of people don't, didn't know how to make a website or even know how to use email or or uh you know get a domain name you know they had to kind of spend money and time and knowledge for some of these things but web 2 is where the users are free they create an account on instagram they check that little box as i agree to terms of service and then they post their pictures and their content and make their friendships and and such so that's been that's kind of still where we're kind of still are in this but i think some of us are moving into web 3 or what we call d-web where it's decentralized private and secure uh, i think this came from sentinel and um that's that logo there. But basically, the point is, it's about the user. And I think there's some more slides here that I'm going to take. Again, I'm not going to take all of them. And I appreciate the D-Web guy let me use this, um, which he collected, seems like, from other places anyway. Uh, and then this this is an idea of what's Web 2, Web Web 3, broken down by different categories of content uh, or services. And then Web 2 and Web 3. Web 3 is... Web 2 is companies and Web 3 is protocols. Protocols, like he says in the video, is um, blockchains which is, uh, you know, meant to be an open community kumbaya around the campfire. Some of you said it felt like that. Some Bitcoin events or our HandyCon event for name, uh, for uh, Handshake. 
So Web2, right? These are private companies that are funded by, you know, investors and they, their job is to earn money for their investors. I mean, you could say there's other purposes, but that's what a company's job is, right? So Amazon, of course, um, and S3 is uh, data storage, web hosting. A lot of my stuff's on Dropbox. A lot of these videos and stuff I put on S3. So that's where you're storing your web. And now there's this huge explosion of these, you know, file coins shot, shot up through the roof. The, these prices, these are also tokens. So you can invest in these. Well, you can also invest, I don't know if Dropbox is a public company. Amazon, of course, you can buy the stock. So these are uh, these are tokens where these are like stocks on New York Stock Exchange or NASDAQ, etc. These are on um, token exchanges, you know, uh, kind of like think of Bitcoin. So SIA is one which has a pretty good relationship with Handshake. Uh, Filecoin is another and Arweave is another. Next line is data processing information markets. Of course, we all know Google's trading our information. They're uh, search engines and uh, they have other products. Uh, Snowflakes, I don't even know. But these new ones are coming out, Ocean, Erasure, and Steamer, which honestly, I, had, I have no idea about these. most of these except Google. The, of course, this one, we see Handshake's logo here, domains, right? The traditional domains is Verisign, you know, control, Verisign has, I think, .com, pretty sure .com, I think .net, uh, probably a bunch of others. GoDaddy, we all know. That's where I registered my first dot com in 1999. And ICANN, which is the nonprofit organization that oversees domain names and DNS. Hopefully I say that correctly. And now they're moving towards these are a few. And I did just do recent videos about a bunch more that are popping up fast. Handshake, of course, you know, this whole channel is mostly about Handshake. ENS, Ethereum name service, which is on Ethereum blockchain for domain names with .eth mainly, but moving over to traditional ICANN names. Unstoppable domains, .crypto, .zil. Also, uh, I believe on Ethereum 1 and 1's on a Zilliqua. Excuse me, I'm, I'm trying my best here. <coughs> and then, uh, you know, then the next level is the applications. You know, the actual usage of once you have all this foundation, what are you going to build on it? Spotify, music, you know, medium blogs, Upwork, like hiring people, moving to Audius from Spotify, which is a blockchain audio um for for music artists and artists mirror i'm not familiar with brain trust not familiar with but i assume maybe they're like blog platforms and worker platforms based on protocols or blockchains right so all these are on on a blockchain like ethereum ethereum i believe and zill uh, handshake has its own blockchain you know audius is audio um filecoin is fil c is sc you know there's a ticker here you can look these up of course this is another one. I think this came from Steve Mackey. Um, somewhere I've seen this uh, in groups too. Um, so what was, this is Web3 or D-Web ecosystem where where we started, where we are, and where we're coming. So Brave Browser is an early pioneer with a BAT token, but basic attention token, and uh, they're really crypto friendly and uh, early adopter of a lot of crypto projects and uh, other you know newer ways of interacting with the web ethereum of course we all know ethereum smart contracts and then ens which is ethereum domain names ens.domains and ipfs file system i you know this is basically f first year it took many years right ethereum how long like five six seven years from 2021 maybe i think 2013 2014 i started hearing about it so now where are we handshake of course hns for a blockchain for TLDs, like right of the dot. Handy Browser was made by uh, Steve Steam and uh, open sourced for web RTC. I'm not familiar with Filecoin, Steacoin, Arweave. You know, this is hosting. Helium is HNT, which is like a decentralized kind of like Wi Fi sharing network. People can mine Wi Fi by having a machine that's broadcasting Wi Fi to people in the local area, which is pretty awesome. Ethereum 2.0, which is hopefully going to solve these gas fees and other things, and I think move to a proof of stake from proof of work, I believe. WebAssembly, I'm not familiar with. Again, I'm just trying my best to re-say this with my face on the video. Uh, and then the, the next one is the explosion, right? This is when it goes, shoots up, right? We're kind of like moving up, you know, for adoption, of course, token price, but I'm not talking about token. I'm talking about adoption usage, people knowing it, your mom, your dad, your grandma using it this will come after right once we have this foundation which we're almost done with you know once you can start to make a domain on the on the blockchain you can host on the blockchain you can uh you know do databases you know there's also 
Akash networks for processing on the blockchain, AKT, all these things. Once you have this kind of foundation, then you can build applications, social networks, you know, a web hosting systems, you know, um, so you know, identity management things, you know, web hosting things. All this stuff's gonna be exploding, and it's gonna start to come out. You know, we believe now in um, probably you know now it's already starting to happen. Anyway, I think that's it for for those slides. These these three are really good, and uh, you know, of course, check out that that person, man or woman's uh, channel of videos. I'm just getting permission from them. I talked to Telegram to get them into this in my own voice, and I hope uh, I'm not offending anyone. But I'm trying to educate people, and I'm not trying to uh, say anything hopefully too disruptive. But it is disrupting, right? Google, Facebook, they don't like this, you know. The, What's exciting to me is, you know, you own your identity, you own your content, right? You don't just get some email from Facebook or somebody says, we decided our terms of service, you're doing things against what we think is right, or someone else told us to think is right, that uh, we're going to delete your account or moderate your account or delete this post or change this, or you need to, just, you need to change what you say. There's lots and lots of cases uh, of that happening. And, you know, there are some cases of domains being locked or, uh, you know, taken away. And it's even happened to me over my years in the internet. Um, <laughs> so we have to just uh, be aware of these. And, uh, you know, I know some people still want to hold on to web too, you know, but you got to open your mind because if you don't pay attention to what's coming, you're going to be behind. So at least educate yourself. I'm not, I, I'm not a stock picker. I'm not a pumper of coins. You know, I tell people learn a technology and then maybe if you want to put some money or, or time, but yeah, I mean, I'm getting consumed by this stuff. I really believe it's the future. And, uh, this, this slide is really helpful from Ms. Ms. Ari. So, you know, it gives you an idea of now and the future. So I would love to hear your comments and feedback. And uh, thanks, D-Web ASAP, for putting this together. And definitely check out that person's channel. There's other amazing people. I'm not the only YouTuber talking about this stuff, for sure. We need more and more people sharing. Please, um, you know, improve on what I make as well. Thank you.